This video is going to be about a topic that really uh, needs to be widely consumed among the tree trimming gardening community, and that is the way queen palms should be trimmed. Now, this here is an example of a mature queen palm, probably about 25 feet, maybe 30, I'm not good with uh, measuring stuff ad lib. Anyway, uh, this is on my property, obviously, and I've decided to not hurricane cut it. And this is the way the queen, the queen palm needs to look uh, for several reasons. Number one, for its health. It's, it's not healthy to cut almost all the leaves off of palm trees. Uh, when, you, when you leave just two or three, four branches left, for the so-called hurricane cut, it damages the palm, it invites disease, uh, and doesn't provide enough photosynthesis for the palm to, to really thrive. And I'll, I'll show you an example of a real bad looking queen palm that was actually just hurricane cut. Now, I actually even look the, like the way this looks aesthetically. It looks like it looks in nature. Um, you see pictures of, of tropical areas with coconut palms and, and even queen palms with, uh, you know, the low branches hanging down. Uh, it's, it's the way the palm is aesthetically spo supposed to, to look. <laughs> um, among those other reasons um, I discuss. Now we're going to take a look at a real bad looking couple of queen palms that were just recently hurricane cut and you'll see uh, what years and years of hurricane cutting can do to a palm tree. Here we see a couple of queen palms uh, that were just recently trimmed uh, utilizing the hurricane cut. Here's a better angle of it. This palm is, is well on the way to uh, not living unless it's really taken care of quickly. Looks like the palms have actually been spiked also. You can see how yellow it is and, and really poor, poor looking it is, how badly deprived it looks. Now this next palm isn't too bad, but you can see the hurricane cut. Uh, frankly, I mean, it looks ridiculous. It doesn't look like a, a real palm tree in my opinion. And this one is doing okay. Uh, the new leaf on the top looks a little yellow, so it's probably getting there. But um, you can see how the hurricane, the classic hurricane cut looks. And it's really quite ugly, uh, among other things, and bad for the palms. Here's another look of my palm tree, my queen palm. Has nice lush green growth at the top there coming out. And of course the leaves lower down are obviously going to be a little yellow because they're on the way to dying. But they're still productive. They still obviously contribute to the photosynthesis process and uh, help the tree grow and stay alive. Here's another example. Uh, this is next door. This palm tree is um, in need of cutting, trimming. Well, not really, actually. It's, it's fine. I'm looking at it. But you can see it, it's really deprived in um, nutrients. The yellowing is common in queen palms. It needs um, some manganese supplement uh, and maybe just some overall general palm tree fertilizer. But my point is this palm tree too has been hurricane cut and um, it just doesn't look good to me. It's beyond talking beyond the nutrient deficiency. You can just tell the look of, of queen palms that have been hurricane cut over the years and spiked. Uh, 
and they just end up looking bad. It might look good to some people uh, temporarily, but in the long term, it really destroys the tree. It's terrible practice. So I'll leave you with another view of a, a proper looking queen palm. <laughs> and um, if you have property and you have queen palms on them, tell your tree trimmers to not do the hurricane cut. Uh, it's very simple not to do. And uh, you'll end up having a healthy palm tree without problems for the most part. Other than, you know, a lot of queen palms need that manganese supplement and a general palm fertilizer. I like the LUT spikes. You can find them on the internet. They're, I've really had good results with those. So, um, hopefully someday my pet peeve of hurricaning, hurricane cutting queen palms will be uh, no more a pet peeve because no one will be doing it. Because it really, as I said, ad nauseum, it really uh, is bad for the tree and it really looks quite poor in my opinion. It doesn't look like a palm tree. It looks like a couple of twigs on a trunk. So that's it. If I can think of any other topics, I'll be back. If not, thank you for watching and um, aloha.